But guys, Dave Genvy here, aka Bad Boy Genvy, aka Satan. Yeah. I'm the devil. I keep telling you, it's the truth. I am actually Satan, King David, uh, God's man on earth. To get you running correctly, get your society running correctly. Because what you've had for quite a long time, since the Roman uh, Empire went all soft under the popes, the popes, the Roman popes, they're all fairy boy mincers, they're pussies, they're not good at fighting. They're all about peace and love, man. But the problem is, peace and love doesn't rule. Do you know what I mean? Like, what rules is being an hard bastard? And God in heaven has sent me here, right? The Antichrist, Satan, the devil incarnate, the devil made flesh on earth. Why? Because you need a badass now. There's no point having Jesus here now. Jesus was important 2,000 years ago to teach you about love and peace and about heaven and hell and how you need to be good to go to heaven. And that, that you know, that's the truth. You need to be good to go to heaven. You can't be a bad guy and go to heaven because you're on a test right now and you want to pass the test and go to heaven because if you're in hell you're really going to suffer under me, Satan you're going to get punished really fucking bad so sad it is so you need to get your head around this you can, the atheism stuff that's become popular in recent times is a load of shit I've proven I'm Satan everyone if you're in rept uh, I've proved that proven as well these lizard people exist reptilians and all the reptilians know I'm Satan. There's no doubt in their minds, I'm the devil. So if the devil exists, then so does God. That means God's real too, and heaven's real. And you've got to be good to go to, to heaven, yeah? Come down to hell, you're in for a fucking terrible time. Um, now, I've shown you how uh, Prince William's been really ill. I mean, Kate Middleton got cancer. Kate Middleton got cancer, didn't she? Prince William, I've shown, I've shown how he's looking terrible. I'm pretty sure he's dead now. Skinny, it's all been covered up in the media. Look how skinny he is there. That's a recent, fairly recent polo match, four weeks ago. That would have been filmed before then, probably. And he's probably dead. Now, King Charles, look at him. It's a recent picture. Very recent, that's 9th of August, uh, 2024. A recent picture, if you look at him, he's not looking good. He's got cancer. Um, I showed on a previous video, Camilla's struggling to stand up. Uh, she's got like a walking stick with her. I haven't seen her lately. I haven't seen what she looks like lately. But I think she's either very ill or dead. The reason is God in heaven's got a plan. These British royals who run the world... You know, the Britain conquered the waves and they conquered the rest of the world uh, with their sailing ships. The British royals who run the world, who are the kings of the world, um, which the monkey men didn't know about, it's all been kept secret because the reptilians, the lizard people, it's like a secret society. They don't want you knowing that they exist. They just want you to think they're monkeys because that's how they evolved. Uh, but they've been, they've been exposed now. I've, I've shown that they're real. I mean, I can do more reptilian footage of the, you know, catching them having a shapeshift malfunction. The green lizards with like very clever camouflage. Uh, King Charles is a green lizard with very clever camouflage. It's incredible how it works. Um, but yeah, God in heaven told me to write a song uh, for Camilla about how she's going to be going down to hell soon. If she hasn't already, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. I said, okay, God, I'll do it. So I'm going to play the song that I've um, written for Camilla, King Charles's uh, wife. Um, hopefully, enjoy it. My singing, please excuse the singing. The singing's not great. I'm not a great singer. Uh, I'm not a bad guitarist, but singing's not really my strong suit. Okay, so let's play the song. <laughs> Camilla, Camilla, I am killing you with my mind powers, cause I work for 
God in heaven, cause I'm Satan, and he's my boss, and he wants you dead, and in a box, sorry to say you're gonna be dead soon one day, yeah, and guess what, you're gonna fucking burn, yeah, you're gonna fucking fucking burn, yeah, yeah, you're gonna fucking burn, yeah. Now what, what we're going to talk about now is something that's a bit bizarre with the British Royals. Uh, they, don't like, they don't like you knowing all their secrets. As a reptilian, they're secretive anyway. Because like, they don't want you to know they're a green lizard, even though they are. Um, so they're kind of secretive. But they're not all bad guys. You've got to remember that. Not all reptilians are bad guys. There's a lot of very average reptilians who are nice guys. There's bad ones among them, yeah. And the British Royals are a bag of shit. That's true. But um, as a whole, they're not all bad. But something I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you now, some uh, with the with the British Royals that's quite bizarre that they do. They like doing numbers games with dates. And I'm gonna give you there's low there's a number of examples I've figured out. But I'm gonna give you um a couple of the more basic, easy to understand ones. Okay, so I've got here, 14th for the 10th, so 14th of October, 1066. That's the Battle of Hastings, right? So one plus four, five, add one, six, add one, seven. So what is that? Why did they have the Battle of Hastings? They have these war games, these royal families, uh, where you know you have to show courage, the soldiers have to show courage and potentially lose their lives. Uh, but to the to the Brit to the royals, the British royals and whichever other royals, French royals and Spanish royals and whatever, it's just like a game of chess. They're not having to put their life on the line. They're not having to risk anything. It's the common soldier that has to risk his life. Utterly terrible. I've said how it needs to be done with these battles. Um, they need to be decided with Queensby rules. The actual British royals fight against other royals. I want to get into the American royal family, knock them the fuck out of my fists. Anyone who stands against me in a boxing ring, Queensby rules, boxing rules. And that's how, that's how we decide who's the boss of the royal families. That's a fair way of deciding it that means loads of just regular common people don't have to die and we don't have to weaken our armies. A lot of it's been under the the aliens who rule over you've been telling you to do it's ridiculous but you've been going along with it because you're idiots but yeah you've got 66 there number of the devil and then you've got if you add these numbers together you get seven um because the british royals are trying to say well we're six the devil and we're seven god on earth but they're not because they've been ruled over by aliens so how they can think they're god or, de or the devil or anything when your bosses are the fucking aliens, I have no idea. Um, and that links to other sort of um, uh, events. You got the England World Football World Cup final. Yeah, it was held in 1966. You know, it's all relating to 1066. And I do think we're going to have this great reset in 2026, um, 60 years after this event. Roughly, I'm not exactly sure, but I think they're going to do it at the same time. They do other things like 9-11. Um, so 9-11, uh, 2001. That was the terrorist attacks in New York City. You know, the planes flying into the Twin Towers. 9-11, 9-1-1. The number of the emergency services. It's like a joke. It's like the British Royals trying to be funny. Oh, well, we'll do it on 9-11, the number of their emergency services. We'll have this big, you know, terrorist event then. Uh, that was to set up for them. The reason, the whole point of 9-11 was so they'd have an excuse uh, to invade. America would have an excuse to invade the Middle East and control the whole region and make sure the oil continued to flow in that region to basically get all get the whole region under control. They're pulled out of the Middle East now because they don't need that control as much anymore. 
is control the region with tanks and soldiers. So that's why they did the 9-11 event. So it gives an excuse why they've had to go into the Middle East. But a lot of it is because the British royals want to pin all the blame on the American royals. They want to pin all the blame on the Rockefeller family. They want to pin all the blame on America and make America look bad, not Britain. Uh, and certainly not Germany, because that's where their true allegiance is, is, to, is to Germany, the British royals. So, it, like, it, all, like, it all stems back, really. The, it always should have been the Roman Empire in charge. The Romans didn't do all silly, stupid shit like this. I don't think they did, and certainly not to this extent. Um, the Romans are supposed to be your rulers, not the fucking British Germanic... The Romans were the ones who put the Germanic, these Germanic tribes in charge. The problem is, Romans shit sailors, crap at sailing, good at fighting, shit at sailing. So the, the British royals had to be in control for, for a while. Uh, you know, that's just how it is. But that, now the Romans are back. It needs to be the Roman Empire running the show. That's what needs to happen. They won't have all these silly, silly little games. The other thing they do is in the US, because they like playing games. I'm going to explain why they play these games with dates, these number games with dates. But in the US, um, they put the month first. So in the UK, we put the day first, right? The day, the month, the year. But in the US, they put the month, September, 9, September, the 11th, the day, 11th of September, and then the, um, the year. Now, that will again be something that's been put into America by the British Royals. They like to fuck up the American dates. Because it makes more sense to have the day first, then the month, then the year. Why? Because the day is the short amount of time, then the month's the little bit more amount of time, then the year's, you know, the longer amount of time. It makes more sense to have it in that order. But the British royals, being silly cunts, doing silly things with dates, have um, moved the American system so it's, it's backward. To say the Americans are backward and we look down our nose at them and we're going to drop their economy and their royal family, the Rockefellers, in the shit when we do the Great Reset, which is where they pump a lot less oil out of the ground and have hyperinflation of uh, well, oil prices, which will then cause hyperinflation of food prices. So as I keep telling you, I mean, I, I didn't mention at the start of the video, you've got to get your money in Wisdom Tree crud. I, keep saying, I normally say at the start of the video, you've got to get your money in Wisdom Tree crud, monkey man. It's the only way you are protected then, financially. Um, but the, what you say, well, why you, you're going to say to me, why do they do these silly games with dates? And the reason it's ridiculous, it all links back to King David. Uh, King David in the Bible spoken very highly of. And uh, I'm going to go on something on Google now. I'm going to show you. So, I've gone Google here, Google. Mention of dates, the fruit, dates the fruit, you know, the little fruit dates in the Bible. And then you get a quote. A righteous person shall flourish like a date palm tree, just as this palm is beautiful in its countenance and all of its fruits are lovely and sweet. So is David beautiful and his look and in his honor and all of his deeds are good and sweet in the eyes of the holy one blessed be he because david is god's man on earth just like just like jesus was two thousand years ago my my job is to get you sorted out be a badass dude get you getting new planets working for god in heaven uh obviously the british royals don't want to work with me but this, this, this talk about dates, this, you know, it talks about here, date palm tree, lovely and sweet and all of that. The British royals, you know, ages ago, ages and ages ago, have read that in the Bible and just thought, oh, King David, fucking hate the guy. 
Oh, he's so great, isn't he? So brilliant, isn't he? Fucking David. I know what we'll do. In this, you know, because they're talking about here, linking like dates, the sweet, lovely, sweet thing. Linking me uh, to, to, to a date palm tree. And it's fruits, lovely and sweet. They think, well, we fucking hate King David. He's a fucking arsehole. He's a piece of shit. And if you actually look at dates, the fruit. Um, you actually look at them. Google load up. It looks like a little lump of shit. A date itself. Looks like a little lump of shit. So the British royals have seen this. Oh, King David, what a piece of shit he is in the Bible. This is, you know, long, this is going back centuries. And they've just kept doing it out of tradition. Like King Charles might not even have known this. He might not even, King Charles, current king, he might not even know this is the reason they do it. Whoever it is in the British royals going back a long, long time to look to that about David. Oh, I so fucking hate this dude. Dates. Well, dates look like a little lump of shit. Look like a little lump of shit. So what will be, now we're in power, us Germanic royals, Germanic British royals, whatever. Now we're in power. What we'll do is we'll do shitty little games with dates like 9-11-2001-9-1-1. And, you know, they fucked up the Americans' dates by having it back to front. Putting the month first. Utterly stupid. Put the day first. It's the logical way to do it. So they, they like doing shitty games with dates. Because the ultimate stems back to jealousy of King David. God's God's man on earth. You know. That's what that's what it's about. Utterly stupid, isn't it? But they're very childish. That's what I that's what I, the more I learn about them, the more I realise how childish they are, and they do childish things. That like twats basically. And it's at it's at the expense of the people. Whereas God wants people to do well and ultimately join him in heaven. He wants you to live a good life. You're on a test right now, testing your soul, finding out if you're any good as a person. And then if you do well on the test, you go to heaven. That's what God wants. That's his plan. And it's so, once I'm in power, my job is to do what's in the people's best interest because that's what God wants. And, you know, I might be Satan. I might be the devil and a dude that runs hell. But uh, I still work for God. He's my boss. So that's just how it is. Um, hopefully that will make sense to you. Hopefully you'll understand that. Something I've talked a lot about on this channel is uh, free energy. Uh, it's actually quite easy to do. You've had it for quite a time. The aliens gave it to you. They said to your king, your lizard kings, you can't use it yet. Well, I've come down, said to the aliens, you're shit at fighting and you can use it. But obviously the King, King Charles, doesn't matter how much I slag him off and call him a bitch, uh, he just doesn't want to work for me. His health is failing though, as I've shown. Uh, his health's not looking good. I've already shown you, but I'll show you again. You know, that's because of God's mind powers. God in heaven is not very happy with him. And, uh, He's been killing them off. Free energy is something that will be so great for humanity, both reptile and monkey. Um, it just makes your life so much easier. Just imagine um, having a car that you never have to fill up with fuel. It just it has free energy to keep it going. Same for your house, you know, if you got if you live in a hot country, you probably spend a lot of money on air conditioning, you know, running your air conditioning. Right, well that that will be very cheap to run your air conditioning because we you'll be using free energy. Uh and if you live in a cold country, um, you know, your heating, the heat your home will be very cheap, you know, it will all be electrical heating, be free energy. Uh I've talked about it, the perpetual turbine and ringer power. Um, two ways of making free energy. That's really straightforward. So, 
something you really need and it'll also help your companies out a lot now something the monkey man and not that many reptilians are aware of, aware of is uh, a lot of your tech companies rely are propped up by your king the king charles the lizard king with printed money I'm going to give you an example of it. The reason they're propped up is because their energy costs are so high. So if you're Google or you're Amazon, you have server centers that cost a lot of money to run because they're not being powered by free energy. They've been powered by, and it, most of their power will be coming from fossil fuels. Some of it will be from solar power um, and wind power and things like that. But, but really you need perpetual turbine and ring, and power, ring of power to run those server centers, the energy, all, all the computers they have, the server computers, data centers, they're sometimes called that, because they use a lot of electric to power them all. So what happens is a lot of your tech companies, like Google, aren't actually that profitable. They'll be listed as profitable in, in the stock market, but they've just been propped up with printed money. That's mostly what, what it is. I'm gonna give you an example of it. Now, um, there's a company called Uber, a taxi company. They also run a, a side business called Uber Eats. And uh, this is 2023 figures. This is, this is the company, Uber. You've probably heard of it. Uh, revenue, 37 billion. And their net, their net income, net profit, one point eight billion. Now, that is very likely that company is making money because Uber, Uber is actually a German word. So Uber. So I've gone on Google now. I'm on Google. You see, they've got a weird design on their logo today. Uh, Uber is a German word. Um, German language word so because it's a German word the uh, the British lizard king King Charles will print money to prop that company up because of his Germanic uh, roots being a, a German royal family that, that's the British royal family, but he, he views himself as German. Now, another company, which was a similar service. So with Uber, you've got taxi service and they've got food delivery service. Well, in the UK, we've got a company called uh, Deliveroo. So Deliveroo, which is like a food delivery company. Now they had two billion in revenue. So they had two billion in sales in uh, 2023, you see that. but. In 2023, in 2023, they made a 38 million pound loss. It's pounds. So it's not dollars. It's pounds. Uh, Two billion pounds revenue, right? So Deliveroo had all that revenue, all that sales. They're doing a lot of sales, but they're not making any profits. They're actually making a loss of 38 million uh, last year. 38 million pounds. The reason, because because it's a British company, and it hasn't, it's not called a German word. Um, it's not been propped up by, or not been propped up as much by the Lizard King with printed money. Where you know that two billion in revenue, they've done a lot of sales and made a lot of money in sales, but all that revenue uh, is consumed by energy costs. Because energy costs are so high, we're running these service centres. That's where most of their costs are going, most of their expenses are going, and it's leading to them not making a profit. The other thing with Uber is because it's a company that's actually based in America. So Deliveroo is a British company, but Uber is an American company. And remember, the Lizard King wants to drop the American royal family in the shit even though he's he's the one been telling them you know how to run things so the american uh, companies like google like amazon and all of them um 
they're, they're you know supported well and to make a lot of money to make it look as if it's the Americans and the American royals that run the show when it's actually not it's the British um, I mean the US Navy is just an extension of the British Navy believe it or not and, and, and so are all the other navies the Chinese Navy is the same the Russian Navy, they're all, they're all the same. They're all just extension of uh, the British, the British Navy. Um, but you're not supposed to know that. As a monkey man, you're not supposed to know it. The reptilians know it. All the reptilians. So you say, well, why won't the reptilians speak out against the Lizard King? Because they don't want to be ostracized from reptilian society. All their friends and family are reptilians. They don't want to be in a situation what I'm in at the minute because I'm speaking against the Lizard King. I don't, it's hard for me. It'd be almost impossible for me to get a job. I rely on being invested in Wisdom Tree Crud. It'd be impossible for me to get a job. I can't really have friends. I can't have uh, lizard friends. I can't participate in society and actually because I was born so unique where I'm not a green scaly lizard this is what I look like occasionally I get little the sixes in my eyes and the little demons and things like that sixes on my hands but because I'm unique I've always been um, had my life sort of interfered with by King Charles so I don't achieve things. Like I was amazing at football. You've seen me juggling a golf ball on this YouTube channel. Like I probably could have been a professional footballer. At some, it's in some level of football. Maybe not Premiership, but maybe somewhere. Um, and done well, you know what I mean? But I wasn't allowed to because I'm not a true reptilian. They didn't really know what I was. And now the King's been in a lot of shock when he's found out I'm the devil. And so far, no reptilian has wanted to murder me for the king. Because the king can have people killed. The lizard king can say, I don't like that guy, he needs to go. And, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the reptilians in subservience to their king will have that guy killed, kill him somehow. I've had, I, have, I mean, I get a death threat. I get a death threat almost every day. Death threats are just common for me. I'm used to them. Uh, I've actually got a piece of artwork up there that's a death threat. I've, show, I've shown it before. Little blades on it and stuff. So some reptilians that don't like me. A lot of it's driven by jealousy. I mean, it's the same thing with the um, with the date, the date thing. You know, it's on Google. Uh, you know, David Beautiful, and you know, he's a badass at fighting and all of that. You know. The, the Germanic royals were jealous of that. That who's this, this fucking David? I hate hearing of this twat in the Bible. You know, and uh, there's a lot of reptilian, particularly reptilian young men, who are jealous of me because I'm a badass, you know, and all of that. I'm good on guitar. And I'm, I'm not good at everything. There's lots of things I'm not good at. There's certain things I'm good at. And yeah, they're jealous of it. So I get a death threat almost every day. But so far, no one's actually carried it out. Uh, because I'm Satan, I'm not a guy to really be fucked with, you know what I mean? If they were to try and kill me, I'm gonna fight back, obviously. So the Lizard, the lizard King, King Charles, would love nothing more than me to be murdered. But um, yeah, you know, he hasn't got the balls to do it himself, and you know he's not in a great state of health. As we can see here, the guy's not looking too great. Um, I, don't, I don't know how long he's got left. I'm hoping the Great Reset can be avoided. At the moment, you've got to remember, oil prices are at seventy some dollars a barrel. So they're very cheap. You know what I mean? Like, 
when you go buying in at something that's really cheap, that's so important to the economy, if you want to transition to free energy, it's going to take a while because all your machines and cars and stuff and tractors and everything, all, they all run on crude oil. Transitioning them over takes time. You know what I mean? You're not going to... Even if free energy was announced tomorrow by the, by the Lizard King who controls the media, you're not just going to have it instantly. You know what I mean? It's not just going to... Um, the whole economy just instantly, oh, we've got free energy. Everything runs on free energy now. It's going to take a while to transition over. But it's something you need to do, obviously, because how, how your situation is at the minute. Um, I was watching um, a video on a place called Furnace, Furnace Creek in Death Valley. So it's in the middle of Death Valley, which is a very, very hot place. So the air conditioning costs must be huge to keep all the buildings cool. Once you've got free energy, then it's great, you know. You can run the air conditioning full blast and you're not wor worried too much about any costs. So, yeah, once you get free energy to run Google and run um, Uber and run Deliveroo, and run all these companies, these these internet companies, you know, and computer companies, they're going to become more profitable. Those companies are going to become more profitable, which is going to be good for guys who are like drivers for Uber Eats and for Uber, the taxi service, and for Deliveroo. It's going to be good for them because the company will be making more profit, won't be propped up by printed money, and they'll be able to pass a portion of their profits down to the drivers so they make more money. So they're on a better pay packet. Um, I have thought of how we could have an app designed for freelance delivery drivers as well. I thought of something like that. I'm, I'm gonna try and make a situation where everyone does okay in life, you know. That's why I wanna create a society where if you're willing to work, you can you can do well and something like being a delivery driver of food is a really important job food delivery is really important because people need food to survive if you're a shelf stacker if you're a you know supermarket if you're a checkout girl in a supermarket jobs like that are really important jobs um, because without without food you die so one idea actually, I had, I had an idea recently of, I was watching a guy called, uh, his channel was called London Eats, and he was on his moped driving along, and his phone that he uses to navigate London and get all the orders for the food fell off his handlebars. It was, it was magnetised onto the handlebars with a permanent magnet. Now that permanent magnet's not ideal because it needs to be strong enough to hold the phone onto the handlebars but not too strong, so he can't pull, easily pull the phone off the magnet. What we need is, first of all, his moped, he was on a moped, his moped needs to run on free energy, so he's never worried about the battery running out. Uh, the other thing, he needs an electromagnetic, I think he needs an electromagnetic phone holder, so it's got a switch on it that turns the magnet on and makes the magnet really powerful so the phone is like locked onto the magnet. But then because it's an electromagnet, he can flick the switch into the off position and turn the magnet off when he needs to get the phone off the, off the holder and it'll just come off easily. It's like turning a light switch on and off. The magnet's either on or it's off. Whereas at the moment with a permanent magnet, it's having to strike a balance between being uh, powerful enough to keep the the phone on the handlebars, but not too powerful that he can't get he can't easily pull the phone off it. You know what I mean? That's something else that you need. Uh, oh, and the other thing, this is a great idea for Uber and um, Deliveroo companies like that. These uh, drivers right, are having a massive issue at the minute with, um, if 
I'll just get low this page up. They're having a massive issue. Uh, yeah. They're having a massive, drivers are having a massive issue with getting coffee cups. So what happens, they'll get an order from McDonald's that they've got to deliver to someone, someone's house or whatever. And McDonald's will only give them a small little um, coffee cup holder, which when they put that in the back of their bag, it's, they're given coffee cup holders like this. So these low little co coffee cup holders. So when the driver puts that in the back of their bag, the, um, the coffee just tips over. And what I'm saying needs to happen is, Deliveroo and Uber need to give drivers something more like this. Something maybe even a bit better than that that's made out of like plastic driver can put into the bag and he knows the coffee cups is very unlikely they're going to fall over once they're in something well that's that's a better a better coffee cup holder something like that as opposed to something like this but it, it's 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 not for mcdonald's to sort out that because the mcdonald's coffee cup holder is for someone who just wants to take the coffee cups to their car take it from the restaurant walk to their car and just put them in the coffee cup holders in their car. It's 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 the duty of Uber and Deliveroo uh, to sort the coffee cup holder situation out for their drivers. In the meantime, because because the way it is at the minute, because I'm outside of repti reptilian society, because King Charles the bitch doesn't want to work with me. He's been a total fairy boy about it. They're not allowed to do any of my ideas. I mean, free energy you need desperately. But I'd say to any Uber driver, um, on, you know, on a moped or whatever, you know, maybe make your own out of wood. Make your own little coffee cup holder out of wood, possibly. And then have it so you can chain it onto the outside of your bag if you need to. And then you just unclip it off, put it in your bag when you need to put the move the coffee. Because it's a big problem. Because obviously loads of people love drinking coffee. So they're ordering it from these Deliveroo and Uber guys, but there's no answer for how to, uh, how to, there's no answer for how to deal with it. You know what I mean? How, how, how that driver to not spill the cup of coffee in the back of his bag when he goes over a speed bump or something. So I'm trying to come up with a little solution for you there that hopefully helps. Uh, what else have we got to talk about? I think that's it to be fair. Like I say, once you've got free energy, things will improve a lot. Uh, Anti-gravity will replace the jet engine. We won't need the jet engine anymore. Because obviously that uses oil. Kerosene, which is oil. We've just got to get this King Charles out of the way. God's killing him off slowly with the cancer. So, yeah. Things are going to improve. They are, eventually. That's the end of the video. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.